Vontade de ficar aqui e plantar mais. Sim, é muito divertido, é. porque a gente aprende coisas novas, né? É. É uma cidade gigante, então é difícil a gente ganhar escala buscando essas áreas. Em quais escolas tem áreas para mini florestas? Até que entramos em contato com o MAP Biomas e eles super se interessaram em trabalhar em conjunto com a gente para adaptar a tecnologia deles para fazer essa varredura automatizada em todas as escolas da cidade de São Paulo. Então eu acredito sim que a gente possa formar uma nova geração que vai trabalhar na regeneração do planeta. Collectively, Bangladesh has invested significantly in the last 30 years or so in building the resilience at the community level. So they are quite resilient in the sense that they know what to do before, they know what to do during the crisis, and they know how to actually recover after the crisis happens. And, uh, and, and we have seen this amazing progress in Bangladesh. If we invest in the community level, building their resilience, actually um, the, the impact of the disasters get reduced and the recovery becomes much quicker and financially a lot cheaper, if I can use that word. generation want to volunteer but they want to volunteer differently they need much more agile system of volunteering they cannot they don't have time and patience frankly to come and you know fill five different forms and wait for two weeks before you get a little paper to say that you are volunteer now 
these days the volunteers self-organize. So we have to transform as an organization to create those platforms for self-organization and we support that. So in, in many ways, we will be leading from the back, not from the front. Important element is also how do you use the digital capacity because a lot of volunteers want to volunteer virtually. Uh, and if I give an example, mental health issues, you don't need to be physically present. You can actually volunteer by, uh, you know, now with all the uh, digital tool we have to actually provide that support. are now retiring in 58, 60, uh, in 65 in many countries and, and because the, the life expectancies have gone up so much in many countries, the retirees actually have 10 or 15 years of a productive life they want to do something about. Uh, and a lot of them have achieved what they wanted to achieve, so now they want to do something good. So this is another uh, area of volunteering we are increasingly tapping. And this is, I can tell you, amazingly well-trained volunteers. You don't need to spend anything because they have that lifetime of their experience. They bring to Red Cross, they feel satisfied, they make a great contribution, organization can benefit and people can benefit. Someone who worked for the American Red Cross saying that, you know, when you work for the Red Cross, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night, you drive to a place you have never been, and you support somebody you have never met, and probably will never meet again in the future. That's the motivation of being a volunteer. And as I started as a volunteer myself, the experience you have to get a smile in somebody else's face, when you come back home that evening and you go, when you go to the bed, you sleep very, very well. And that becomes the motivation for next morning to wake up and, and go and do something, uh, something for, for people you have never met.